2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Hello gamers, Eddie here from the Gamers Next Door, bringing you another episode of The Hype Is Real! In this episode, we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Following their big gameplay reveal a few days ago is a no-brainer. We have to talk about this game, developed and published by CD Projekt, the same developer that made the Witcher series, which in my opinion is actually one of the best RPGs, if not the best RPG series ever made. Cyberpunk 2077 is an open world first person shooting RPG game. To make it very clear, CD Projekt wanted to do it this way, and I quote, This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. This decision to do the game in first person had some gamers a little irritated, but when you look at the gameplay mechanics, it's very clear what CD Projekt is doing here. Players assume the role of the customizable mercenary. You can fully customize your starting character from tattoos, cosmetics, hairstyles, face, body type, body modifications, background and clothing. You can also choose male or female. There's no class to select at the beginning. You can modify your class during gameplay. Cyberpunk 2077 looks amazing for still being at an early stage in development. The game is running on Red Engine 4. Little is known about this engine, but so far it looks great. Looks like it's running at 30 frames per second and maybe that's going to be the console standard, so I can't wait to see it running at 60 frames per second on PC. Time will tell. Right at the start, the developer lets you know that Cyberpunk 2077 is a mature game in every aspect. The game will not shy away from any mature content. Like in other RPGs, customization is key and Cyberpunk 2077 has lots of it, like your clothes. They not only represent the player visually and with armor stats, but also get you street cred. There's also a new form of experience you get by completing side missions that you will use to unlock vendors throughout the game. Cyberpunk 2077 takes place in Night City Metropolis, located on the coast of North California. The city not only looks alive with NPCs, vendors and buildings, but everything has a purpose and everything is interactive. The city has a full day and night cycle and dynamic weather that affects the way NPCs behave. In the first mission they showed in the demo, you are hired to retrieve a missing person. By completing that mission, you are not only rewarded XP but also some money or eddies. That is the Euro slang they use for money. Money can be used to improve and enhance body modifications. There's also vehicles in the game including motorcycles that can be driven in first and third person. You can navigate the open world or even engage in vehicle combat. Missions are approached in different ways, guns blazing or diplomatic. There's always the option to choose the way you do it, but it can change the interactions with some NPCs and change the mission. Combat is fast and fluid with some nice mechanics like using your weapons tech or secondary fire. The implants also let you do some crazy things like bullet ricocheting from walls and hitting your target from different angles. Weapons vary from standard ones to high tech ones like corporate weapons. They are built from molecules that are customizable to your liking. There's also the ability to take down enemies and quick hack them, allowing you to affect other gangs NPCs and affect them in different ways, even preventing them from firing their weapons. You can also use double jump, bounce from walls and quick sidestep to any side, making combat faster and more agile. Overall, Cyberpunk 2077 is shaping up very well and knowing CD Projekt's experience on The Witcher games, this game will deliver big time. Interaction between NPCs and the main characters made this world real and believable and opened the possibility for great storytelling like they did with The Witcher series. Just watch the entire demo if you haven't seen it and judge it for yourself. Once again guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe at The Gamers Next Door on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Eddie signing out and as always, happy gaming.